Laura, tonight, two powerful storms with two similar and destructive aftermaths. Hurricane Ian and Hurricane Fiona both ravage parts of the Caribbean and the southeast coast of the U.S. Their impacts will take months or even years to clean up. On the ground in Florida, rescue crews continue looking for survivors of Hurricane Ian. Meantime, President Joe Biden was surveying the damage in Puerto Rico, and he was there today where Hurricane Fiona's fury still has people there with no power. Today, I'm announcing more than $60 million in funding to help coastal areas in Puerto Rico become better prepared for the storm. President Joe Biden arriving in Puerto Rico to survey damage made by Hurricane Fiona. The storm left more than 30 inches of rain around the island. Elaine Cosby has been living in Puerto Rico for 16 years. She's from Rocky River. I think it gave us all hope in a way we haven't had from the federal government. Cosby says while Maria was worse than Fiona, Fiona's rain destroyed what Maria didn't. She owns Horses of Hope, where therapy is provided for the disabled. And while the farm has minimal damage. Movement is horrible. There's so many roads in Puerto Rico. It's beautiful country, so there's hills and um, roads that travel up and down and they're blocked and you can't even get to your neighbor's house. And what the neighbors still need is power, food, and water. The First Lady Jill Biden packed bags, took photos, and greeted volunteers and community leaders for nearly an hour while visiting the food bank. The president making this pledge. We came here in person to show that we're with you. Amer all of America is with you as you receive and recover and rebuild. I'm confident we're going to be able to do all you want, Governor, and I'm committed to this island. Elaine welcomes all the help, but says Puerto Ricans are struggling, but extending a helping hand is the culture. There are crews from Puerto Rico that are going to Florida to help because that's what's in our nature. Now, the president is expected to visit Florida on Wednesday. Laura?